right, and we're back with another tick in the Heroes of Legend DLC proposal series. A far cry from the mortal followers of the Dark Gods, rumors persist that the dead don't rest easy in Sylvania. Many lords of undeath have arisen in those cursed lands to plague the realms of men and dwarves alike, but who among them stands worthy to represent all vampire counts as a hero of legend? There is, of course, only one true answer. The youngest great descendant of the Von Karsteins and scourge of the second wave in the Vampire Wars. The blood count, Conrad Von Karstein. A native of Sylvania, Conrad was born a son to the lords of Waldenhof during the reign of Vlad von Karstein. Unlike many of the human nobles during that dark age, however, the Blood Count was one of the few mortals whose brutality and bloodlust far exceeded that of the vampiric aristocracy that lived around him. Insanity ran deep within Conrad and his ruthless nature exploded into full view once he took over as the ruling lord of Waldenhof. He gave bizarre and needlessly cruel commands, such as ordering his crossbowmen to practice their aim by slaughtering all of the cats in the region, burning two villages down with all of their residents trapped inside for having offensive smells, and putting his own mother on trial for giving birth to him without his consent. Conrad proceeded to find his mother guilty of that crime and have her bricked up into a tower until she starved to death. This senseless life focused on death and violence drew the attention and amusement of Vlad von Karstein. The mighty vampire considered what might happen if he added a literal thirst for blood to Conrad's figurative one. Perhaps it could produce an interesting champion. Conrad would actually be the last to receive the blood kiss from his father in darkness, and it is quite safe to say it drove his madness to even greater heights. From this point, he would go on to be Vlad's personal executioner, often brutally butchering anyone who so much as had particularly squinty eyes or coughed a little too aggressively. As a vampire, Conrad possessed an alarming skill when it came to tearing apart his enemies in a frenzied dance of blades. Curiously, he possessed virtually no talent for magic at all, which is quite unusual for even the most incompetent vampires. Perhaps Conrad's deep insanity prevents him from wielding the winds of magic in any conscious way forcing the Blood Count to rely heavily on the favor of necromancers. After the famous Siege of Altdorf, where both Vlad and Isabella von Karstein met their true ends, the Vampire Counts retreated as they started fighting among themselves. As the Empire was left to lick their wounds, the von Karsteins were torn between five sons, who were each personally given the blood kiss by Vlad. After a series of shenanigans, where three of Conrad's brothers were slain, Hans von Karstein murdered in a duel by Conrad personally, and Manfred seemingly vanished, the Blood Count finally claimed ownership of the undead hordes in Sylvania, as the last true son of Vlad. Conrad then launched a series of confusing but deadly assaults against the Empire and even the Dwarfs, terrorizing the Dawi of Zuffbar against the pleading of his advisors. It would actually be the Blood Count who would go on to discover the Blood Knights of Blood Keep, have I said blood enough? And met personally with the legendary Wallach Harkin. Impressed by his wanton desire for slaughter and endless bloodthirst, the Blood Knights agreed to join Conrad's legions, and Wallach himself offered his lance to the von Karstein. Focusing his armies around a strong core of heavily armored vampire knights, Conrad was able to achieve victory after victory despite his horrible tactics and insanity, which often resulted in him just pausing on the battlefield to feast on the blood of his victims or lick his swords and armor clean. For nearly 40 years, the blood count would sow death and destruction across the empire in dwarven realms, 
unleashing Wallach Harkin to murder the dwarf king of Zuthbar, and even managed to hold off a grand alliance of the Empire and Dwarves. Yet, in the end, Conrad would meet his true final death in the clutches of his infamous madness. It would be in the Grim Moors, where the Dwarves and men of the Empire would ally to face him one last time. Enraged by this display of defiance, Conrad led his army against the combined arms of his enemies, instead of retreating for a better engagement later on. While his armored vampire troops reaped a horrific tally, the battle suddenly turned for the worst when the necromancers animating the Blood Count's army abandoned the field and fled for their lives. Unable to control the winds of magic himself, Conrad's undead horde rapidly collapsed while the Count himself began to wander aimlessly from the battlefield. Caught up in a fit of utter madness, von Karstein shouted nonsense at the night until he was attacked by the dwarf hero Gruffbad, who pinned the vampire in place long enough for the Elector Count Helmar to impale his father's killer with a rune fang. So fell Conrad the Mad. Whew, that was a doozy of a lore section, but now we're in the clear to move on. So next up is how one might acquire Conrad von Karstein in a campaign. Being the bloodthirsty monster that he is, I think the most suitable way to lure out the insane son of Vlad would be simply to have him unlock after executing, say, five or ten sets of captives after victorious battles. Alternatively, there could be a really fun, thematic little quest that revolves around resurrecting the Blood Count, perhaps by sending a character, like a hero or something, to Waldenhof, and then kill a thousand enemies in battle or something. When it comes to skills and abilities, I imagine you can already guess that Conrad has quite a specific set of skills, so to speak. He is just a horrific whirlwind of madness and blood that tears across those too unfortunate to get out of the way. So first and foremost, this vampire should have an exceedingly high melee attack and weapon strength compared to any other vampire hero with a slight leaning towards armor piercing damage over regular. When it comes to his more unique features, first up is that Conrad should have frenzy in addition to the hunger. So he's a true monster in close combat with the ability to heal as he carves through the enemy ranks. His magic weapon, the Sword of Waldenhof, should be represented by an active skill that when used grants him a solid anti-large bonus to emulate it causing multi-wounds back in tabletop. However, the real gimmick to Conrad should be for him to have a passive called One Bat Short of a Belfry, which makes it where when he gets into close combat he will attack faster and stronger for a limited time. So allow me to clarify, it could be a passive where when Conrad enters combat, his attack speed, damage, and melee attack gradually increase over the course of, say, 120 seconds, with an increased tick every 20 seconds or so. However, it would reset if he's considered to be out of combat for longer than, say, 10 seconds, and only could take effect if his leadership is above wavering. Should he manage to reach the maximum attack speed, the buff could perhaps grant some massive final boost to his weapon strength as he goes all out for 20 seconds. After that, the timer ends and the passive goes on cooldown for maybe like 5 minutes or something. So it'd be very similar to the Norska's rage mechanic, but built around attack speed as Conrad works up into his signature blender style. I know or doubt that this would probably be possible using the current system because he'd likely need rather unique attack animations to pull off having a increased attack speed without it looking weird, but I love the idea. Hopefully this would really justify him being a purely footlord as he traditionally doesn't come with a mount, though I wouldn't really mind it. And this is also where his like being a paid character would come in so that he could be designed to have attacks that would look good even if he's able to, you know, rapidly speed uh, speed up if he gets his one bat short of a Belfry passive to max. 
That's why we're paying for these characters, so they could have unique gimmicks. When it comes to weaknesses, Conrad would of course need to be used with care. I would actually propose for his one bat short of a Belfry passive to come with a downside. Maybe for every tick that buffs him while he sustains in combat, he could also lose a small but stacking amount of melee defense as he grows more reckless and frenzied. And then at the maximum level, while he has, you know, a big amount of damage bonus, attack speed, melee attack, and, you know, he's all crazy due to having lowered melee defense, maybe at the final level, in addition to that big damage boost, he could also become subject to rampage. So he just immediately rampages and you lose control of him until it's over. So his melee defense would be notably reduced and he would be going nuts for the entire final act of that stage making him ideal for tearing through units that he's been engaged with, but it would make it difficult for him to just goon out a particular enemy character by, uh, you know, you could hide that character among enemy troops and Conrad might have a hard time getting to them, especially because if he's in battle for long enough, eventually he would rampage for a bit. I think this would be incredibly thematic for representing his crippling madness and still grant him really, really scary combat capabilities without being unfair. You know, that way if you're playing against him you don't have to worry about that person like building up the one bat short of a belfry passive and then when they get it to the max level they just try and goon out one of your characters if he gets to max level he just starts attacking whatever's closest i think that would be fair and really really fun on the campaign map conrad certainly presents a unique role as he's a vampire with zero magical abilities whatsoever for his unique traits in campaign I would have Conrad actually grant various buffs to Blood Knights and Black Knights as the armored cavalry of the Vampire Counts were the main focus of the Blood Counts legions. I would also have upgrades available in his unique skill tree revolving around Hatred, which should grant some melee buffs, and of course you'd want him to be able to upgrade so that he could cause terror, perhaps he could have a really big focus on assassination as his, one of his blue skill trees. And I could see in campaign, maybe he could have a late skill upgrade, like rank 15 or rank 20, that allows you to upgrade one bat short of the Belfry to where it no longer causes rampage when he maxes it out. It'd also be nice to see Conrad have a unique skill where he grants an army-wide buff, like movement speed or something along those lines. Finally, if he were to be truly amazing as a Vampire Count's hero, It'd be really great to see a skill that, say, increases faction-wide public order as rumor spreads of what happens to those who anger Conrad von Karstein. So he makes it much less likely for there to be a rebellion in your faction. Finally, when it comes to appearance, he's like a thankful amount of characters on this uh, playlist where he has an official model and artwork that are both gorgeous. So I am just use those. Though, there better be a dang animation where he, like, cuts somebody open or gets a kill shot and then he licks the blood off his sword. That's, like, the most famous thing about Conrad on his, especially his tabletop model, is him drinking blood directly off his sword or something. I always love that. So you gotta have that if you're gonna have Conrad. But anyway, that's gonna wrap up my hero for the Vampire Counts. I think he would be perfect for any of them because Conrad would definitely serve... Whoever resurrected him, I don't think he would be purely subservient to Vlad. Though, you know, maybe Vlad could start with him if Isabella isn't made a hero for some reason. But, I, you know, I could see that being a really cool thing. Getting him with, you know, now that I think about it, a lot of the vampires kind of seem to have hero-like characters with them. You got, you know, kimler has got Krell, and Vlad's got Isabella, and Manfred's got Gorse. But still, I think Conrad would make a fun little extra character there. And hopefully if we get more vampires in the future, I still think Conrad would be good uh, for any of those characters and would be a faithful servant, especially because he has to rely on magic casters and he was only like kind of a, he was an okay hero in tabletop. And at the end of the day, uh, that would actually give us all the Von Karsteins. So we would never have to talk about them ever again and we could just focus on other bloodlines. But maybe you disagree. Maybe you think a different character would be good. Maybe you'd want to see a some kind of ethereal hero, or maybe you'd want to see someone represented from one of the other bloodlines. Let me know down in the comment section. Would you pay for Conrad von Karstein as part of a Heroes of Legend pack, 
Or would you want to see somebody else? If so, who is it? How do you think they would work? All that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.